Comedy Club, and first he joins us live here in the studio. Corey, it sounds like you may have some personal experience to share. Yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> want uh, people to come out and find out why their relationship is not going to work. Exactly. Okay, so the ghetto Dr. Phil, you're giving Dr. Phil a run for his money? Yeah, I think so. But I'm different than Dr. Phil. Dr. Right? Phil tries to help couples last. Yeah. I'm here to plan you for failure. <laughs> failure is a big thing in the courthouse. That's how they make a lot of money. So yeah. I'm planning you for what's you know, going to happen. It sounds like you're just being realistic. Yeah, I think I'm realistic. In a lot of cases. I don't expect <laughs> um, girlfriends or marriages to last that long. I, I mean, I'm married yeah. now, but I needed some health insurance. But, you know, <laughs> so you're afraid of the prenup, <laughs> just in now. case? The <laughs> prenup, just in case? I think prenups are mandatory in marriage. <laughs> Uh, well, what if you're broke, though, and you don't have anything? So does it even matter? Well, if you, if you get married and all you have is a bicycle, and, uh, she's entitled <laughs> to that bicycle. So you, know, you need to get that all mapped out in yeah. the beginning. Or maybe she should just own the bicycle and leave you with nothing. Sometimes that's what, that's what ends up happening. Pre prenups, are, prenups are basically leave-as-you-come clauses, right, right? Right, I think that's the way it should be. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about your background, how you kind of got into comedy. Well, um, I was always um, crazy in school, uh -huh. and uh, one day in a, I was going to Catholic school. My mom took me to Catholic Whoa. school, and a nun called me silly ass. So I do. That's a curse word. Yeah, I, I brought that <laughs> out of her, so I felt like I could make a living if I could get her to do <laughs> you that. You made the nun cuss. <laughs> yeah. Did you make any of them laugh, though? Yeah, they were you laughing. The one of my teachers would always try to <laughs> tell me about speaking out in class and saying yeah. something stupid, but she would always be laughing. Was it an all-boys school, or was it boys and girls? Uh, it was co-ed, thank God. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> how do you do an all-boys school? I don't either. Who are you going to go to girls. prom with? <laughs> yourself. You're going to dance by yourself. you got to go with your cousin or something like that. <laughs> Only in Texas, where I grew up. Oh, yeah. I don't, oh. know. I don't know in Chicago. You're from Chicago. I don't think you would date your cousin there. Well, it depends on there. how she looks. <laughs> hey, man. That's a good point. The economy is bad. You can't be choosy now. Man. Exactly. All right, so you're going to be at Off the Hook starting when? Uh, starting tonight, tonight, Thursday. Okay. Um, we got shows all through Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to the website, they'll give you that information that I obviously don't have right now. But I'm there <laughs> for the entire weekend. Yeah. And I just want to say to everybody out there, um, if you put effort into something, uh, you open the door for failure. <laughs> I mean, Babe Ruth failed how many times before he hit a home run? Oh, yeah. A lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You don't know if you don't try. Yeah. All right, come out and see Corey this weekend at Off the Hook Comedy Club starting tonight, and we will ensure you that you will laugh. All right, we'll be right back. You're watching TV6. Stay with us. That's funny.